Alright guys, back with another video, Sam420 Blaze It, and um, last time I made a video like this, he been talking about the number 420, he was on 420 last year, and today I'm here thanking you guys for 420,000 subscribers, so thank you guys so much, um, I'm gonna be telling you guys a little 420 story today, nothing too much that involves me, just a really awkward situation I was put in, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, leave a like if you do, let's get into it. So a couple years ago, I was spending 420 at a friend's house, he invited me over, wanted me to smoke, I didn't actually go over there to smoke, I didn't want to, but I went over there anyway, just to, you know, hang out with my friend, and keeping company because i'm sure you get bored if you're just alone especially on a day like that so i went over there and i was hanging out with him just doing our thing he was smoking i'm not gonna lie i did take one maybe two hits of his bull but i didn't like go fucking hard i just wanted to you know try just a little bit of it just a little bit and i did pretty good stuff um and i was hanging out with him and he ended up inviting a bunch of people over there was actually like i think five more people that ended up showing up so it was me, him, and there's like five other people. Um, and we were just in a big circle talking, you know, just enjoying ourselves. It was really funny, actually. Um, but there was one kid there who has a reputation for being an idiot. And I know that sounds kind of fucked up. But he's just stupid. Like, he doesn't care whatsoever about anyone else's things. So, like, he'll do something really, really dumb and impulsive. And he'll end up fucking someone else's stuff up. Like, he'll break something. Or, you know, he'll, like, hurt someone else. And he'll laugh about it. And it's really fucked up. And he got this reputation because he kept doing stupid shit. And, you know, he just built this reputation for being dumb. And he was over there. And he's a funny kid to talk to. I'm not gonna lie. Like, he's really funny to hang out with. But he just says really dumb shit sometimes. It's, like, super offensive. And we really didn't care. We knew how he acted. And that's kind of why we invited him over because some people find it really funny and I, it didn't get to me whatsoever. And uh, we were talking, just doing our thing, and it was his turn to hit the bull. And I don't know what he was thinking, but he's like, yo, watch this. And he tried to do like a trick. I don't know what he thought would happen, but he flipped it in his hand. He, it was a big glass bull. And he did, like, a flip with it. He, like, threw it up in the air and, like, tried to flip it like a pancake. Actually, scratch that. He tried to flip it like a fucking butterfly knife. Like, no joke. He literally tried to, like, twirl it around and shit in the air. And he did. He threw it up and tried to, like, spin it and flip it and do whatever. And when it came back down, I'm sure you guys can guess what happened. He didn't fucking catch it. He tried to. But when he went to catch it, he, like, flicked his palm out and it bounced off his palm. So it went flying up in the air and fell on the fucking ground, the hardwood floor, in the middle of the entire circle. So we all watched it in, like, slow motion just fall and hit the ground and shatter into pieces and when that happened we were all just like dude fuck like it was that moment of like fuck dude no 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 and i sat there in silence and just waited for my friend because it was my friend's bull and it cost a lot of money it was like a good hundred dollar piece and i was just waiting for him to do something he gets up out of his chair and he walks over to him and i was like oh there's either about to be a fight or there's gonna be like an apology and it's gonna be nothing and he walks over to the kid that broke it and he's like why the fuck would you flip my bowl in the air? And the kid that broke it's giggling. He's like, I don't know, dude. I thought it would be funny. And my friend got all serious. He was like, there's nothing funny about breaking my $100 bowl that you now owe me. And when he said that, the dude looked back at him. The kid that broke it was giggling. He's like, I don't know anyone shit. And my friend got really, really mad. You could see it in his face. He got all red. He got all tensed up. And he fucking winded back. And I was like, oh, no, this is it. He's going to get punched. He's going to get punched in the face. I don't want to see this. And I was almost, like, cringing. Like, I was kind of, like, tightening up. I was scared to see what was about to happen. And he just fucking bitch slapped him. Like, straight up backhanded him in the face. And when he did that, I was like, holy shit. I, I expected him to punch him in the face, but he backhand bitch slapped him. And the kid looked at him and was just like, real mature, bro. Real mature. And he got up and he started walking out. And my friend just yelled. He's like, yeah, you owe me $100. I'll see it next week, right? And he just ignored him and he walked out the door and I was like, damn, dude, like you just bitch slapped him. How do you feel right now? And he was like, I don't know, man. I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to punch him because I kind of like him, but I just wanted him to fucking learn that that's not a good thing to do. And I completely agreed. I was like, yeah, dude, I understand what you're saying. Um, pretty weird seeing you bitch slap someone though. That was kind of weird. Um, and he's like, yeah, dude, I mean, it's what I got to do. And we just kind of laughed about it and we had to get our friend's piece over to finish and everything ended up being okay. I think he actually did get paid back, too. I think the kid actually, like, a month later came through with money. But I'm pretty sure he was short on it, too. I think he came through with only, like, $70 instead of 100 So it, he was a little short. I mean, he still got most of his money back, obviously. But it still just kind of sucks to have something, like, that you've been using for so long broken and then someone laugh about it. That's, like, super annoying. But, yeah, I thought you guys would enjoy this 420 story in honor of 420,000 subscribers. If you did enjoy, leave a like, and um, I'll do some more shit like this. Um, but, yeah, thank you guys so much for all the support recently on my videos and on my channel. It means a lot. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Peace.